So what's your plan for the future? What next now that we've finished high school and entered the real world? First of all, I really hate that term, real world. Not like that bullshit of a school is real. All the constant crap and pain. But no, because I'm wearing a backpack, I'm expected to listen to some jackass who thinks he knows everything because he passes chemistry 101. John, I didn't ask for one of your rants about the school system. Sorry. Well, I guess I'm off to college. If I can afford it. Might have to save for another year. You? A college boy? Never in a million years would I have guessed. I mean, given your great grades in science and academic lettering. Funny. I try. Which school? Gotham Community College? No, I'm going to apply to Bloodhaven Academy. Thinking about mastering psychology. Become a psychologist. Help people on a mental level. So, you're going to be that guy who sits and listens to people complain about their childhood for an hour, and then comes up with some bullshit reason for everything, and sends them on their merry way with a sack of venomous green drugs. No, I want to help people who really need it. Mental patients. Like my mom. I think it's a great career. <laughs> really? Spend every day with the crazies. A real dream come true. <laughs> Why do I tell you anything? You just mock it. Cause I'm your best and only friend. In all seriousness, I like it. It means a lot to help people. I, I know what you went through. It's great something good can come from all those years of dealing with your mother after what your father did to her. I think it's a good idea. Help people out. Fix what's broken. I'm only mocking you because I'm not sure what I want to do myself. Helping people does sound nice. Someone's got to do it. Might as well be a smart guy. So true. Now if only we could find one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I know a guy. Kevin. You remember Kevin. Yeah, he was in my English class junior year. What's he up to these days? Well, him and his brother got into some bad crowds, and now his, his brother is, he's, he's a drug addict. He used to be a great guy. He just needs some help. Kevin wanted to stage an intervention for him, but couldn't afford a real doctor. You know quite a lot already. Do you think you could help with an intervention for him? I can try, is it bad? A little. If we don't do something soon, it could get really bad. I can try, but I'm no pro. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I will text you the address. I got this. Not if you're planning on going to college, smart guy. <laughs> Hello, is anyone? Oh my god, Lori! God, what happened? What happened? Lori. We were trying to help. She tried to calm him down. He, he stabbed her, pushed me out of the way, and slashed Garrett. Did you call anyone? The police, the ambulance, anyone? Yeah, yeah, they're on their way. Why did you answer the door when it was them? I had to stop the bleeding. Just go stand by the door, wait for them. Just go. She's gonna be alright. She's gonna be alright. They're coming. They're no, coming. They're coming. No good D. No good D. No good D Fuck. goes unpunished, right? I was trying to help. Fuck. That makes me a good person. And it makes you a great one. A great one, Lori. Just, they're coming, alright? They're coming. This sounds like a cheesy movie scene. <laughs> I always loved them. You did. You did. <laughs> Do me a favor, John. Oh, no, 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 no. Help people like you want. I You'll will. do great. I, I will, Lori. I, I will, I will, but just wait. Oh, no, 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 Lori, no, 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 Lori, Lori, no, no, no. <laughs> I see them, they're at the end of the street. Oh God.
Yeah, I was wondering where you went. I could have given you a ride to the police station if you'd waited. Jonathan, listen. There's nothing you could have done. There's nothing you can do now. Just let the police handle it. No. They don't handle it. What? They don't do a goddamn thing. They don't care. This is Gotham. They don't give a shit. Someone gets murdered in this town every day, and everyone turns a blind eye. Where is he? Who? Your brother. Where is he? I don't know. He's your brother. You know where he'd go to lay low. Now tell me where the hell he is! Maybe ask some of our friends we used to hang out with. Give me a name. John, I don't think this is a good idea. These guys are thugs. I've dealt with thugs my whole life. Now give me a name. What are you gonna do once you have it? I'm gonna give him his intervention. What's up, man? What's up? You got the stuff? What? Do I look like the fucking candy man? Ha! I was just kidding you. Yeah, I got the stuff. Who the fuck's that? Do any of you know where I can find Clint? Nice guy. Brown hair, ex-football star. What makes you think I know Clint Stelson? I didn't give a last name. Why would I tell you anything? Because I'm the guy with the bat. truth not kill him. He said he saw spiders or something. Maybe he was on something that, and the two combined killed him. Or maybe it was my chemical. Shit. I must have mixed it with something from my dad's old chemicals. My chemical made him die. But it made him afraid first. See his worst fear. My dad was right. That sick bastard was right. He nearly got it. The fear chemical. It even scared the other guy so much, he gave me the info. I need to make more. I can make Clint suffer. But I have to make it last longer. Make him see more. Fear more. I have to perfect my dad's formula. I think that's it. But how to be sure it will work? I have to make sure it won't kill him. At least not right away. I need to test it. I need a test subject. Myself.
scarecrow. He's so skinny a stiff wind can knock him over. Just a freak. A loser! It's time, Jonathan. I need your help. Back into the room. I need the results! It's for science. It's okay, Jonathan. I'm not afraid of it, of being an outcast, a freak, a failure, a test subject. I embrace fear. I am fear personified. I am a scarecrow. Good. You're up. Have any good dreams? No? Well, that's okay. Dreams are too nice for a person like you. I look a little confused. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Crane. I will be your doctor this evening. The doctor? Well, not licensed. Not yet. But in a few years, hopefully. Now let's take a look at you. Oh. Oh. It seems to me like you have a drug problem. And a massive social problem. Some friends tried to stage an intervention for you. But you didn't like that, did you? You got a little upset. You pulled a knife. Hey, we're here to help you. Listen, I, I didn't mean, I swear, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I didn't, it's... it's Shh. I'm going to try something a little different now. Oh. It's a mixture between medical and psychological medicine. So-called scare tactic. It was originally intended as a truth serum. Oh boy, did that go well. I accidentally killed your dealer. Unfortunately. But luckily it still gets me the information I want. And much, much more. You see, once in the body, it quickly flows through the bloodstream and into the brain. 
It causes the brain to focus entirely on the subject's phobias and biggest fears. <laughs> At first, the subject's experience was so horrific. They would run the risk of cardiac arrest. So with a little tweaking, I got it to also affect the heart. It slows the heart rate down just enough so that the subject can live through the enlightening hallucinations. Now, it does take a few seconds to kick in. Oh, I almost forgot. Why are you afraid? Oh, I'm fucking afraid! <laughs> More drugs, I promise. Please, just, Good. just let me go. Please, Good. please, please. That's what I like to hear. But the thing is, you hurt someone I cared for. The first dose was punishment for the drugs. But now you need to be punished for what you did to her. I'm gonna do things a little differently this time. No, 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 no. No, 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 please, 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 please. This time, if you feel like it gets a little too rough, you have the choice to opt out. No. no. Take two of these. Call me in the morning. I am the Scarecrow, and I'm going to scare this city straight. 